Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Um, I'm going to go over the next four problems, including this one were asked by a student, so I'm going to make a video of these, and I hope they help everyone out as you guys study and try to prepare for uh, the first module quiz and the first midterm, and, and to do your homework as well. So to start this one out, let's take a look at this. We've got an X on the left, we've got an X on the right side of the equal sign, which we can't have, so we need to choose a side to place all of the X's on, and it won't matter which side we choose the answer will still be the same. Now for this particular one, uh, some of you guys would say, well, I'm going to put them all on the left, and that would make them positive. That's going to be okay, and that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to put the x's on the, right, on the left and the numbers here on the right. So splitting this up, I've got uh, this negative 11x, which is on the wrong side of that equal sign. So to get rid of it, I'll have to add 11x. But if I do it to one side, in order to keep the equation balanced, I've got to do it to the left side as well. So we still have our equal sign, and negative 11x plus 11x. This just becomes a 0, which, as it turns out, is all that's left of the right side. And on the left, we have 10x plus 11x. So we have the x's, and how many do we have now? 10 plus 11 is 21. Now we have 21x is equal 0. This is 21 times x, so we're going to use the inverse operation by dividing both sides now by 21. And what this does is it gets this x all by itself, or that it would be a 1 times that x and not a 21. And 21 divided by 21 is 1, so that's just a 1 there. So we have x equals 0 divided by 21, which if we put into the calculator, that would just give us 0. So x, in this case, equals 0. Now, I do not recommend stopping there because, especially on a test, you'd want to make sure that your answer is correct. And since we think that the x's in the equation are 0, I'm going to go in and replace both x's with 0. So here on the left, I've got 10 times 0, which is 0. And this equals negative 11 times 0, which equals 0. And this checks off, and this is just a good way, again, to know that our answer is correct, that x is 0.